As of two days ago, Costco has been cracking down on Costco membership sharing and I am here to help you answer some of the questions that you may have. So let's talk about what's going on. How are you guys doing? My name is Izzy and I am a Costco employee and I've been an employee since 2008. So as of Monday, June 12th of 2023, Costco decided to start enforcing their policy of their memberships. So what does this mean? Well, it means that you need to have your own membership if you want to shop at Costco. Is this a new Costco policy? Well, no, not really. This has actually always been the policy with Costco. As long as Costco has been Costco, it's always been a membership based uh, warehouse or store or whatever you want to call it. But the truth is that some of the Costco employees and some managers have been a little bit lenient with the membership usage. And it feels like every warehouse is a little bit different. And the reason why this is such a big deal right now is because everybody was so different that Costco was like, you know what, let's all just get on the same page and let's just go back to the roots of what our policy is, which is you need to have a membership if you wanna shop at Costco. In fact, when you sign up for a membership at Costco, you sign a contract that says that you are the only person that's gonna be using the membership. Now, I've got a, a Costco card here and if you see, I'm gonna try and like focus on here. So this is just the gold start, but you can look at your card and right here it says non-transferable. And that basically means just what it says. It's a non-transferable membership. So every Costco membership has an allowance of two people per household. So you and your best friend who lives across the country are technically not supposed to have a shared membership. The membership should be for people within your house. So husband and wife, uh, father and son, son and father, mother, whatever. Uh, however that works, but as long as you're in the same household. Now, you might say, I've always been able to shop with whatever card, right? Whether it's your spouse or your parents or your siblings or your friends, and like nobody ever said anything to you. And that is true. A lot of the times, cashiers just didn't really care or we didn't have enough time to look at it and we have long lines. We want to get everybody through as fast as possible. So sometimes we just look at it, scan it, and then you're good to go. In fact, during COVID times, because we wanted people to be safe and stay at home if they needed to stay at home, we allowed family members and friends to go shopping for them if they weren't able to leave their own house. But now that COVID has kind of gone away, Costco is reinforcing that policy of you need to have your own membership. One of the reasons Costco is doing this right now is because Costco started doing a self-checkout and not, nobody really checks your membership there. So a lot of people started taking advantage of that and they would just go to self-checkout instead of going to the registers because you don't need to show the, the membership card uh, to anybody, you just have to like scan it and then you're good to go, scan and go, right? So along the same lines, you may be asking, well, what if it is my spouse, you know? Like we shop together all the time and so, and sometimes they can't come, so I come for them. Well, technically, again, going back to the same answer, you're not supposed to. Uh, this is the reason why Costco gives you two uh, persons per membership so that you can have uh, one for your spouse and one for yourself. Now, one of the rules that I encountered myself in when I was working at a few different locations is that if the person with the membership was there, you were able to use their membership and use your own payment method with the exception of like checks and, and I think like FSA cards, I think you were supposed to have your own membership. But otherwise, if you're using cash or if you're using a debit card, you were able to use somebody else's membership if they were like physically present with you. This was also a bit on the leniency side of Costco, like you're not really supposed to be able to do that. But again, going back to the same answer, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to have your own membership. So you may also be wondering, well, if they're not gonna allow me to shop at the registers, then what's the point of checking your cards at the entrance? Well, again, Costco is a membership based uh, warehouse and we check memberships at the entrance to make sure that if you're coming in, you're an actual member. One of the reasons why we actually want to see the card is because one of the things that happens a lot is if you go in, you start shopping, you have like one full card or maybe a flatbed full of stuff and then you get to the register and then they're going to ask you for your membership because cashiers need to scan your membership to get you through. But then you're going to be looking around and you're like, oh, I just had my card because I showed it at the door, except you didn't because you just have your card, right? And then what happens is you start to delay the lines and 
one of the reasons people like coming to Costco is because we're pretty fast at the registers. If you go to Walmart, if you go to Target, and not to like throw shade at, at other uh, uh, stores, but if you go to other stores, they're, they're typically not as fast as Costco is. And when you come in and start shopping and go to the lines and you don't have your membership, that delays everything. And that is why we wanna make sure that when you're coming into the warehouse, you actually have your card. We're not trying to insinuate that you're trying to sneak in, but at the same time, you're not gonna be able to shop without a card, so might as well make sure that you do. And again, you did sign this. You can check, you can go to any Costco and ask request for the policy, and in it, it'll say that you agree to show your card at the entrance every single time. So we do have that right of not allowing you to come into the store if you don't have a membership. Another thing you might be saying right now is, well, I'm boycotting Costco. That's okay, you don't have to go. And if you don't have a membership, you can't go. <laughs> so, so what does this mean for all of you who are watching this video right now? Well, if you wanna go to Costco, you need to have your own membership. If you don't have one, go check it out. It's honestly not that expensive. $60 a year for the basic membership, which is the gold star. That is what, $5 a month to get like amazing discounts at an amazing warehouse? Uh, yes. <laughs> and then, we can go into the other memberships, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video uh, regarding all of the memberships and the benefits and what you get and to figure out what's right for you. But as of right now, if you want to go and shop at Costco, you are gonna have to have your own membership. Your name needs to match you, <laughs> and your picture should match you as well. Uh, so if you're thinking of sending somebody else to shop for you or just lend them your card it's probably not gonna work out for you. There's no exceptions really, because once we do an exception for the one person because the parent is sick at home, then we need to make an ex exception for another person because they're stuck in traffic or they're stuck at work or whatever the reason. And so, and that's how it starts to snowball into where we were in the first place, which is why we're enforcing this policy again. <laughs> So Costco enforcing this policy is going to be a little annoying for you because you've been able to get away with it for so long. But they're doing it with good reason. If I remember correctly, they're enforcing this right now because they're trying to not have to bump up the price of the membership for the year membership. Because Costco usually ups the price every five years or so. And I think Costco was due to do that like around this time. And I think they're trying to push it back, especially with inflation and, and some of the prices already going up within the store. I think they're they're doing their best to make sure that we can keep the membership at a low price for as long as possible. And one of those ways is to make sure that everybody has their own membership. That is actually how Costco makes their money. That's how employees get paid. That's how I get paid is through memberships. If everybody's sharing memberships and Costco's not making enough money, well, Costco doesn't make enough money off of the merchandise, which again, it, <laughs> they're, they're, they're selling it at such a low price that, that the membership works basically is what i'm trying to say and uh and it's not that bad 60 dollars gets you a long way anyway if you have any questions or complaints let me know in the comment section below i really want to hear them i really want to be able to answer them all uh again i've been an employee since 2008 and i love costco i love the company i like how they treat their employees their vendors the members everything about it so Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know and I will make a video uh, regarding the memberships and how it all works out. Uh, and if you have any other questions that I should like, something I can make a video about regarding Costco, let me know again, comment section below. Uh, I'm excited to get this channel going and, and be able to help all of you have a better experience uh, when you shop at Costco because Costco rules. I don't have a way of saying goodbye. I don't, I didn't think this through, but uh, let me check your receipt and have a nice day. <laughs> okay, bye.